Well, good day and welcome to my channel and uh, give you the report on this uh, SGO steam boiler that uh, we just uh, commissioned. So, um, we've got a junction box here and then steam head uh, bent this conduit around uh, to here and uh, wired it up. We've got a regular uh, 450 on here instead of the cycle guard because um, we don't really have to worry about um, foaming too much on this boiler since uh, we've um, we're going to be we flushed it and we're going to be flushing it again hopefully uh, tomorrow. This is the uh, Beckett oil burner with the uh, Genesis uh, 7505 primary control. And there is the uh, setup information um, for the nozzle size. We've got a just a cap on this side for now. Uh, and we've got our full port uh, drain valve there as usual, as you may have saw earlier. Of course, we've got burner door on there and there is our skim tapping I said uh, in my last video I said that was a 240 obviously I misspoke that's a 270 uh, pigtail replacing the one that comes with the um, with the boiler and we've got this set down to its lowest possible setting and we've tested it to make it uh, on our tester to um, verify that this does trip off at and more or less at the proper setting we've got our flue pipe in here and as you can see this thing is sucking pretty well still uh, there's the chimney breaching there we've got this thing uh, so that this thing doesn't go off plumb uh, when this is taken apart uh, for cleaning you usually have to remove the uh, flue pipe and then this uh, there's the uh, test hole for the um, analyzer and let's see if we can these are the results there so last we talked this was the uh, I was going to do the, about the Hartford loop and so we've got a uh, inch and a half by inch and a quarter. That's a uh, stainless steel uh, street 90. And then a short brass nipple and a shutoff valve for the no return flush. And then we tied on with some new um, inch and a quarter because the return coming in is, is copper. And there's the uh, return going back there. We'll go out from the other side. I'll show you the other side. And this is the, we repurposed the old uh, drip tube and installed it on the new um, pressure relief valve with our, our clean out there. Uh, so and if any dirt gets in there, that can be moved easily. Uh, this is uh, Rob's excellent job of installing the VXT. We've got a cross member here and here. So that is really well anchored. Um, and point out we've got a transition from the copper to the steel with uh, brass street street 90 and a bushing this is the manual feed here um, it's a red white valve we found these to be um, excellent valves and we have a shutoff valve here to uh, make sure if this thing starts leaking we can um, isolate uh, that and of course we've got it up on blocks and as usual we have our drain valve here we've got the hose attachment and uh, as I pointed out in the other video we've got the full port there and got the return this is the return from the other side of the show and um, this is 
obviously not the original wet return. Somebody had replaced it in copper, probably it was steel. Uh, this is the, boy, you can see that dust flying by there, isn't that something? And uh, the, uh, I don't have to put a cap on this. I couldn't find a brass cap today, so I, I've got a uh, iron pipe one for now, see if we can source one. Uh, possibly well, with any luck I can get one tomorrow um, the reason why I had this is so if you see here with this T um, even if you drain uh, at least a third of the pipe is still going to have water in it so if you want to get as much water as possible out I like to have a dip dip tube as it were you drain this dent you take this off and you run in with a dip tube and uh, you can suck out much uh, more of the water and we got our valve there so this can be shut and this can then um, be um, led away uh, to do a no return flush uh, to get uh, rid of any um, dirt and rust and uh, contaminants coming back there and there's the other side of the of the relief and I think we went over uh, this drop header here, Let's see if we can take a step back, take a look at it. And this is why I left this big gap here uh, for the flue pipe, as you see there. Here's a cap for that drain. So there we are. I thank you very much um, for your questions and your comments and your support and um, be well and stay safe.